Arena Sabalenka versus Iga Swiatek is the second semi-final for the WTA Finals for 2023. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Swiatek entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Von Drusova in her first match. And after a close first set, would get through in straights, 7-6-6 love. In her second match, she'd take on Coco Goff. And after a very good first set, She'd fight to win in the second, 6-love, 7-5. In her final match, she'd take on Jabur in very difficult conditions. But this is no problem for Sviantec getting through in straights, 6-1-6-2, to top her group. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Sakari in her first match. This is no problem getting through in straights, 6-love, six 6-1. Six in her second match, she'd take on Pagula. But this was a different story, struggling in the conditions and going down, 6-4-6-3. Six six in her final match, a must-win match, she'd take on Rabakina. And after splitting the first two sets in a rain delay that forced the match into another day, Sabalenka stood tall and hung on to get the win, 6-2, 3-6, 6-3, and finished second in the group. These two have played eight times before, with Sviantec leading 5-3 in the head-to-head. -head. But Sabalenka did win their previous match and has won two of their last three, including the WTA final semi-final of last year. If Sviantec's going to win this one, she needs to keep playing the way she has, controlling the conditions and using the spin. She's been really good in these conditions when everyone else has seemed to fail, except for maybe Pagula. So she needs to keep that going and also keep her head and also know that Sabalenka is going to hit random shots that are going to go in and out during this match. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to serve well. It's been so hard for the big servers to play well in this event. Of course, we've seen Goff. A lot of double faults from her. Rebecca has struggled and Sabalenka herself. So she needs to serve well. Maybe take a little bit off the first serve. Get those serves in to start the rallies. What a great match. One and two in the world in a semi-final. We don't see that very often. It's going to be great to see this one again. I've got to go with Sriantik in this one. I think she's been playing the conditions much better. And I think Sabalenka is getting a little frustrated with what's going on at the moment. And I think she'll deal with a better Sriantik in the wind. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.